Hi Rap Stars, this video, let me introduce myself first. My name is Anne Marie Smiles. Anne Marie Smiles Davy. You can find me on Facebook if you search for Anne Marie Smiles, or you can look for the Head Raps and Rap Stars group on Facebook. You can find me there as well. Or you can check CaribDirect.com, Hot Talents, It's a Rap. I write um head rap features for that um, online magazine as well. So please check me out there. Anyway, back to inverted V's and protruding foreheads. We're having a discussion on the group, in the group, about what head wraps or what styles of head wraps are better, I think, for protruding foreheads. And um, I wanted to show you why I think the crown slash badu slash Nefertiti head wrap is better as opposed to one of the other ways in which I wrap my hair. And I'm looking at Miss Andy. Smile. You're surprised. <laughs> Andy Smiles is here. Come say hi to the peoples. Hello, peoples. Okay. <laughs> She's going to assist me with another video. But first, let me show you exactly what I'm referring to. We're going to use this fabric. And this fabric is about, about, <laughs> two. two and some change. Two and a third, two and a quarter in yards. Yeah. Not inches, yards. Yards. So I'm using this just to show you one of the ways I wrap my hair and why it may not be the best way if you have a protruding forehead such as mine. Um, I don't mind my forehead. It's there. I like it. It's there. I work with it. But if you want to hide your forehead, you might not want to wrap your hair this way. And I'll show you. Not mess up my earrings. These earrings, before I take them off, these earrings are by Terry. And I'll put her information on the information bar. The ring as well. And I will also post it on my Facebook page. These are made from recycled leather. And these not in, yes, recycled leather. Because she had to tell me that before. Because I didn't pay attention much. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking them off so I don't mess them up. So this, um, this style is the same style I showed you in my first, 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 first video. Uh, using a t-shirt head wrap you just put it over your head and cross it in the back and then wrap it around oh and for those who don't know or may have forgotten and for those who care I have one lock in the back and it's growing so long Now I'll continue with the head wrap. <laughs> and Andy's shaking her head. Tell her that's not nice. So I just wrap this whole thing around my fro. I'll stop. The, uh, if you are doing this style, because I often wear it to work like this, but with not such an extravagant wrap, um, you just tuck it in. And as you can see, if you have a forehead like mine, it kind of, uh, not really elongates your head, but it shows the forehead more. It creates this long shape, kind of like in the movie Aliens. It creates <laughs> this long shape, which is not good if you're self-conscious about your head and you want to hide that. Or you're worried about your profile and how your profile looks. I think you should use, you know, styles that bring it up. And of course, when you are done with your head wrap, you want to put nice earrings on. The finishing touch. And I'll show you the other style, which might be better for disguising a long, protruding, sexy forehead. If you have a lot of hair, you might want to, um, tie your hair up to control it especially if you're using a little bit of fabric like the fabric I'm, I'll use next is a winter scarf 
so I'll need to control my hair a little bit to to do that look but if you have a little bit of hair and you want to accomplish the same look with a lot of fabric I will show you how to do that next in the next video and Miss Andy will assist me with that right Andy yes ma'am you want to come and tell the people you said yes I said yes <laughs> So this is the scarf. You've probably seen it on Facebook in the Head Wraps and Wrap Stars group. And um, here you have to just pretty much decide what part of the fabric you want closest to your face. Do you want it to look like that? Or do you want it to look like that? I prefer the white line closer to my face. And this fabric is, we believe it's wool. As you can see, I think it's wool. And he's not paying me any attention, so we'll just move on with the video. She's not focused, people. She's not focused. You just want to throw this over your head. Diagonally, so you'll start to create one side of your V. Hold it with your hand. And from here, wrap it around. With this side, you want to bring this side up and over. And you're bringing it over to capture this flyaway piece of your head wrap and also create the other side of your V. Make sure you pull it. Pull it nice and tight. Wrap it around again in the back. And then when you come around the front, you have a decision to make. Do you want the white line or whatever fabric you use in whatever design? If you're using stripes like me, you decide whether you want it to come down again. You want it right beside that other one for a different look. Or you want it to come across. Or you can come, hold it a little bit, come across, and then come back down. See? Up and over. I want it to go straight up. Wrap it around the back. Again. And when you get to the end of this whole rap star thing, just tuck it in. At this point, you would, of course, do this in a mirror. So you'd go to the mirror and fix your V and fix your lines and make sure everything is the way you want it. Um... As you can see, protruding forehead in previous wrap, forehead gone in this wrap, forehead gone on this side. The V helps by um, breaking up, I think, the space, because without the V there, just have a straight line, all big, beautiful forehead. With the V, you decorate the forehead, you break up the space. You disguise it a little bit. And that's why I think the crown is the better look for protruding foreheads. What do you think? I think so. And Andy agrees. Thank you for watching. Please send me your comments. Please check us out on Facebook. And if you have any requests for tutorials, please let me know. My information will be on my YouTube channel, Smiles Natural. Thank you for watching.